Hello, my name is Momo and I will be your instructor on this course for creating game environments in Unreal Engine 4. In this course we will show you a guide to use the next-gen techniques and workflows to create game environments. We will go through fast blockout techniques in Max and Unreal Engine, we will use the Quixel Suite Mixer and Bridge to create unique assets and leveraging our scan data. We will also learn how to create a point of interest for our player, learn very important tools for optimization for our games, and last but not least we will use the latest features of Unreal Engine, such as sky atmosphere, water systems and volumetric clouds to make our games look next gen. As for the software, we will use 3ds Max 2019 or above, Unreal Engine 4.26 or above to get the latest features, and for the Quixel Suite, we will use Mixer and Bridge 2020. As for the knowledge required, basic knowledge of 3ds Max will be helpful, such as basic interface knowledge, modeling techniques, UVs, and exporting our models to Unreal Engine. For Unreal Engine, it is good to have some base knowledge, such as the interface and how to move around. As for Quixel Suite, Mixer and Bridge do not require any knowledge and we will go through all the steps required. For the techniques, we will make blockouts that stand out. The blockout is the most important aspect of a game environment. We will go through how to answer most of the most important questions such as Where does the player need to go? Is the objective clear? Does this environment convey the feeling I want to show to the player? We will also go through landscapes and materials in Unreal Engine 4 to create really convincing and realistic environments using materials and also landscape sculpting tools. Then we will create a main point of interest using Quixel Bridge and Unreal Engine to create our tower so that the player knows where to go. Usually we will have a main point of interest in all our environments and we will use Quixel Bridge to create different modular pieces and very unique so we can create very fast assets for our environment. Then we will blend up main point of interest with the environment. Inside Unreal Engine 4 we will use different assets and apply several art principles to make our environments blend. Transitions in game, er the game environments can make it or break it, so it's a very important aspect and is one of the most important to make your scene look like a professional. Then we will look through different techniques and apply art fundamentals to create really unique textures and apply them in our scene to make them look really nice. 70% of the quality of our environment will depend on the quality of our materials, so we will look into the most important aspects of a texture. Then we will use the latest features of Unreal Engine to create a really nice atmosphere, volumetric clouds and water systems to really add another level of realism and immersion in our scene. We will also go into different techniques for optimizing our level using Unreal Engine 4 profiling tools. Optimizing for games is a very important aspect of the job of any game environment artist and is often the least overlooked aspect of it. Having this skill set in your arsenal will greatly increase your chance to enter the game industry and become a more valuable artist. Last but not least, we will use Sequencer to create a cinematic inside Unreal Engine 4 so we can show our great scene we have created before and export it in a video so we can show to the public. With that being said, let's get started and I will see you in the next video.